for the people that um don't know you, tell me your name. Oh, I'm GC Jew, or Juju, or Dimples, but all my friends call me Juju. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so where you from? North Carolina. That's where you was, um... That's where I was born, <laughs> yes. Oh, damn. So where you go to high school at, though? Um, Maryland. So that's kind of where you're from, then. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Have, we have this debate. I don't think so, but... What's wrong with Maryland? I mean, I went to, like, six high schools out there. It was cool, but... Man, that turn-up life was crazy. <laughs> Why you say that? Like, which I was doing different, dude. Because I grew up in Chicago. Like, we just turned up, went to parties, had our own parties. Like, what did y'all do? Oh, we was going to clubs. Like, we was going out, like, with the adults. Like, you know, lying about our age, doing bad stuff. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Damn. So, how, how was some of those nights? How did those nights turn out? Whew. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't... I can't really talk about that. Uh, <laughs> that, that that's crazy, yeah. No, so we was how, just young and wild. Like, how, how long did you stay in Maryland? I was out there for like four years. Damn, where you go after that? After that, I went to VA. Where you come from before that, then? Hawaii. Yeah. Then from there, from. Italy. No, nah, that's kind of, No. Gu Gucci made it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no cap, no cap. How did you do that? How was you able to do that? My mom, she was in the military, so we moved around like a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. But that was like the main place I really like. That was the best one? Yeah. How was the food? What? Untouched. <laughs> <laughs> Like the night the United States ain't hitting on nothing overseas for me. That's yeah, just yeah, my nah. personal opinion. What about shopping? How is shopping over there? They ain't hitting on nothing <laughs> <laughs> overseas. Tell me something. Tell me something that they tell the viewers. Well, tell well you know viewers. they got like the real Louis Vuitton stores. Yeah. Like I'm seven years old. Like in these stores with my parents, not realizing like this is nice designer stuff like what's really going on like yeah. the water was so nice it was just a great place how was the people friendly my godmother is italian so oh, dang. so you yeah, an authentic you, you, italian she yeah, was born and raised so yeah yeah no nah, that's real that's real damn so then you said from so tell the viewers all the places that you stayed then Whew. well from North Carolina, I actually been to Maryland twice. I forgot about that. <laughs> so from North Carolina to Maryland, VA, Rhode Island, um, Hawaii, Italy. I stayed in Germany for about three months. Yeah. And how was yeah, that? That was actually a lot cooler than I thought it would be. Like what you mean? Cause you know you hear about Germany, you don't really hear about a lot the food, you know stuff like that. So it was actually pretty dope. Yeah, I ain't never really. I thought they. I ain't gonna lie. I thought they was crazy over there. Yeah, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm thinking, you know, I get off the plane, I'm thinking, oh snap, what's it gonna be like here? But just for three months, that's decent. That's yeah. a blessing that you was able to live like that. Like a lot of people probably didn't, you know, what I'm saying able to travel the world like that. How was Hawaii? And how long did you stay there? I stayed there for two years. Man, it was beautiful. First off, it's nice all year round. Yeah. So it really like just rains. That's as bad as it gets. Like really bad thunderstorms, stuff like that. But volcanoes. Never had one of those. Earthquake. I've been in an earthquake, but that Me was too. on the East Coast. Yeah, I was in one in um California. Oh, in Cali. Yeah. That's the one place. Hey, you know the crazy? It was uh, me, Marcus, and my brother. And we had went out there for like a, a birthday trip for my brother. And then, um, man, we had got like an Airbnb. It was like in the hills and shit. And then, uh, man, it was nice as hell. So we fell asleep. Man, we woke up all the power off. It's hot as hell. So now we like, damn, hey, what's going on? Then we went outside. Yeah. Then before we had said, like, yeah, it was an earthquake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cali known for that. Yeah, so... And you slept through it though? Yeah, because we had went to a strip club. We had went to Crazy Girls. Shout out to them out there. It's a big strip club. We went out there. 
and it went out for broke birthday, so we probably got in like five, six in the morning. And the earthquake probably was like at like nine. Then you know it's like a three hour time difference from wherever we was y'all coming was, from. Y'all so, was dancing yeah, through a whole yeah, earthquake. All, all of us was. <laughs> <laughs> y'all was knocked out through a whole earthquake. So, That's great. so that means you flew planes, like you've been on planes a lot. I got a feel yeah. of flying over a lot of water for a long time. What's the longest? So you've never been overseas? Um, yes and no. I've been to Toronto like three, four times, oh, but that was driving. And then I've been to um. I've been to Puerto Rico, so you know. I ain't never been to Puerto Rico. Yeah. None of the islands. So so. It's my year. What's the longest flight you took over water? So that was definitely from VA to Italy. Yeah. So that was like, I want to say it. I don't really remember because I was young when we did that, but I think it was thirteen hours or something like that. That's crazy. Over the water for a long time. Even the flight from Cali to Hawaii is crazy. Like, that was a good six hours over the water. water. So how do you feel at that moment? I be chilling on plane. It's you carbs. Can swim? Yeah, I can swim. So I'm good. Oh, yeah. I mean, either way, though, if you fall in, you know. We ain't gonna talk about that. But yeah, either <laughs> way. <laughs> you know, but I can swim. So I don't really have a fear of, like, water. Okay. I can teach you. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> no, I, I had a bad experience with that shit. Like, I was a kid, and then I had went to a water park in Wisconsin with my dad. And, um, man, this nigga, um, it was like a big water slide. Everybody was doing it, the whole family. Then even my grandma, rest piece of her at the time, she probably even did it. But a lot of them couldn't swim. But basically, it was a slide into like a 12-foot pool. So, you know, when it was my turn, my dad kept saying it. He like, man, all you got to do is when you get in the water, <laughs> hold your breath and um, push back up and, you know, just flap back up. You'll be straight. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, but I'm sure I don't want to do this. And then once we did that, man, I went to the bottom and I never came back up the lifeguard again. Oh. So after that, it was like, yeah. So you had like a traumatic yeah. experience. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know, you know, yeah. I stay away from that type of stuff. Like, so wait, you don't go on cruises? Nope. Water, obviously not going to no water. No, nah, I took my kids, and they just got wet life jackets. <laughs> I wear life jackets. Make you feel better about that one. Like a pool, yeah, but yeah. Nah, so you don't do like, pool parties? Yeah, 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 but I ain't getting in the pool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't getting in that motherfucker. That's crazy, though. So you say you went from Virginia to, yeah. to what? Um, well, I've lived there twice. I've lived a couple of places twice, so which which time? <laughs> which, so which when one? I was older? Because yeah. I just moved after, from so VA to here. After high school. Oh, yeah, so after high school, from VA, I came to here. But I stayed in VA for Where's like... Where's here for the people that... Georgia. Here. Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. Yeah. How long you been out here? Like three years. That's great. Going strong. Yeah. still here yeah no a lot of people yeah i've been out here on my way to that point like same amount of time but yeah a lot of people gone like they went back to where they went from so damn i've so, been thinking about it a little bit mm-hmm. just because so many people moved out here it's crazy this traffic is crazy yeah man. like it's crazy <laughs> that's crazy so what um what made you move to 11. magic what's that magic city Oh, you know club. the big one. Oh, for sure, yeah, nah. The That's coolest crazy. strip club in the world. So that 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 inspired your move. Yeah, I started working there after working at another club for like a month, and ended up, you know, getting hired at Magic, and the story really just kind of continued from yeah. there. So how long you worked at Magic? I've been there for. Pretty much the whole three years. I took off about a year though. That's crazy. I, I'm sorry, Atlanta. I ain't never been to Magic City. Like we passed out food in front of it to the homeless, but I don't know. I be going to Strokers and Blue Flame. But shout out to Magic City too. I gotta definitely check it out. But, yeah, you do. Yeah. Cause how how are you gonna? But then go I go to a- no. I'm saying I go to KOD. D- Diamonds. I've been there before. Um, we used to go to um Ace. You know what I'm saying? Ace and, and Vivid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, no. 
you know how we we connected. We didn't even connect like on no strip club type nah, of time. You know. you know the homie. You know what I'm saying? And you locked in with bro. So you know. But that's what's up there. So magic made you move. So yeah, that money was good. It was pandemic. You know what I'm saying? So what year? Cake the 2020. 2020. Mm -hmm. So that's when you moved out. Of, that was the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So how good was the money? Man, that shit was on a day shift. You making bands easy. Why would I even stay? But I'm gonna stay because I'm gonna make more bands. Like, <laughs> <laughs> let's just keep this rolling. Like what you mean? You know? That money was so good. But yeah. I had to take off for a little while after that though. Damn. Had some little unfortunate luck, but it's cool. I'm better now. What so. happened? I got hit actually in an accident because all these drivers out here. <laughs> oh damn, that's crazy. So I had just got into an accident too, like not too long ago. But damn, so what happened? Man, at first it was three separate accidents. And they was all like back to back. Yeah. I got hit from the back, and then I got hit by two eighteen wheelers. <laughs> Damn. And then I got hit from the back again in the back of a lift. Damn. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I was like, man, I do not want to drive no more. Yeah, no. Nah, I feel you. That, that dude be kind of traumatized today. So that put you, so that means you moved out here to come to Magic. Then you got into an accident, so then you had to stop. Then, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Back to the money. Now, back to the money. I'm, yeah. I'm working my way back in there, so. You want to see me? I'm only on day shift right now. <laughs> That's crazy. My body ain't ain't quite, you know. She need to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell me about like so. Um, what's your best best experience then, or best memory? Ooh, it was like the reason why I really like was like, yeah, I'm staying here. I'll never forget that night. It was like right before New Year's. It was not New Year's yet. It was like three or four days before New Year's. And they kept calling me and like three other girls on stage. Nobody was going up there. So I go up there. I get on the stage. I start doing my little one, two, you know. I turn around and all of a sudden I just see all of this money just start flooding me. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck did I do? Oh, shit. <laughs> Whatever's going on behind me, that better be mine. I turn around, and there's like five niggas standing in front of me, and they just throwing money. They're going crazy. I made like six bands off that one set. Damn. I was like, I'm not leaving this club. <laughs> I'm staying right here. Like, what? Yeah, no, that's crazy. Damn. By myself, too. That was crazy. Yeah, so that, yeah, that was a blessing for sure. That definitely was fortunate. Yeah. You seen Drake, though? In there? No. I thought Drake go to Magic City. No, Drake be at Onyx. I don't know where Drake be. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where Drake be at. I never. I personally never met him though. What some of the celebrities they come to um, Magic City? Uh, we get a lot of big names, a lot of them, and it's really it's just a cool opportunity to be able to network with those types of people, you know. Yeah, no, facts. Like, like, drop some names. Like, the ones you can drop. <laughs> I don't know which ones I can drop. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. What you mean? I mean, everybody know Bow Wow be in there. Okay. You know, T.I., of course. Okay. But, you know, I, I've met both of them. They cool people. Like, yeah. they really just be in there, get their food, throw a little money, chill, whatever they want to do. What's a know? little money? <laughs> I mean, not to, you know, some bands or less than a band. Uh, it depends on how they feeling, you know. <laughs> that just depends on them. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. No, for sure. I ain't never met Bow Wow, well, but I definitely bumped oh, into T.I. Yeah, I bumped into T.I. a few times since I've been out here. Yeah. Yeah, they just be chilling. That's the best thing about the Atlanta. I like the opportunities like that, you know what Yeah, I'm like you wouldn't really meet these people and a regular setting like it's dope you really yeah. be in regular settings and, and just yeah like, yeah nah right for there. sure so what celebrity that came to imagine that you like like that come and they just show like they just go crazy a celebrity yeah i've been gone for a minute yeah so i don't really know who's in there right now damn so it just always change up yeah it's always always different faces different people 
Like, of course, we have our regulars, but they usually come on, you know, like day shows and stuff <laughs> like that. And they love me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm love. like, oh, yes, yeah. How's the food up there? It's hitting. What? Yeah. Now, see, I don't know. I, I got to definitely probably check it That's out. That's why you, know you need to come, come see, see me on a day shift when it's chill and it's, you know. Yeah, no, nah, you know, you you know how we move. We, you know, we we don't be going to strip yeah, clubs no. like that unless it's birthdays or if somebody got booked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you that's why I say. Get some food though. Yeah. The blue wheel wings. I don't know though. I I'm gonna give it to Blue Flame though. I think I ain't even been to Magic City, but I'm gonna give it to Blue Flame just cause you know, that's uh. that's that's what I know. You know what I'm saying? I gotta come to Magic City. You know what I'm saying? But. We gonna see which one is bigger in the city. You know what I'm saying? And then we could either, yeah, I got a way. So uh, you got Google Maps on your phone? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, so we'll do Google reviews. You know what I'm saying? We'll see who got the most. And then, you know, that'll kind of let me know. If, it's gonna be up. Uh, you think it's gonna be up? Yes. Let's see. You said Google Maps? Yeah, Google Maps. And then we'll go on Google reviews. Then we could go off to make it even. We could check. He's a foreign nigga. Do they do they got um Instagram? Both of them. Yeah. Okay, so then we could add those up too. Then that'll let me know if I'm going to the right place, You're or not. if I need to check out Magic City. You're not going to the right place. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let me add IG. So with that, that's Magic City. Yeah. That's not Google. No. No, look. I ain't Google. You don't got Google. I think uh, I can go to um Yeah, go to the Safari. Talking about that's not Google. Cause it only show the number of stars. It don't show how many stars. You know what I'm saying? I wanna give them a fair chance. <laughs> and then I don't know. I don't be seeing their Instagrams, but we are Google at, Flame. They got one too. I okay. think I, I think. Yeah, they got one too. Yeah. Okay, so Magic City, let's go on Google reviews. Let's see how many they got. 503. And then they got almost four stars. So 3.8. How did and that happen? Exactly. Now let's type blue flame. Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Now let's see what the flame got. Less. They they got less, so they got three point six, but they got two hundred and nine. So they win so far in the, you know. But the deal breaker would be check both of their Instagrams and see who yeah. got the most followers. I follow both of them, so yeah. So let's see. So you know about the flame? I've been one time, <laughs> and this was like before I even moved out here. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what's up, though. You know what I'm saying? But I want to see. I, I I like to do this on the on the on the show. You know what I'm saying? Just to get the viewers a little visual. You know. Like, I told you we gonna win, though. Let's see. So what, what, what y'all got on the followers? Blue flame. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They got all. They got over a half a million. Damn. Wait, you writing that on Magic City? Ah, you know I'm trying to cheat for them. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. That's blue flame. Yeah. Send me that Instagram in the DM. Damn, so they got 532K. And then show me, send me Magic City. We got two pages. So I can add up both of them. I ain't no blue fire had over half a million. That's what's up. Well, Let's see what Magic City. I don't know Magic this is City. the official page. And, and what's the number? Mm. No, wait, go back. <laughs> go back. Almost 52k, and then let's see. The other, give them another page. That's the main page. That's the main. You sure? Mhm. Mm Let me see. So, what was the page you just had? The official page. Send me both of them in a the DM. So you damn. So that now we need to try to find something else to break the tie in because shit. Hmm. Cause basically, Blue Flame, it got 
a lower rating, but they got more Instagram followers. And then we got the kitchen too, like. But Blue Flame got food too, so. Do they have a separate page for their kitchen? I don't know. Our kitchen is infamous. I don't know, so, yeah. I'm not sure. That, that's kind of hard to debate right there, then. So we need to find. Sounds like you need to just come. It, almost, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but no. Uh, not almost. You gotta do something for the viewers. Like, because if they got over a half a million Instagram and then they only got 200K, they lose that way. But then on the reviews, oh, so what we'll do is we'll check those other reviews. Go to the Apple Maps. We'll do that. Now, that's going to break the tie. What you mean, check it? Go back to your maps on Apple Maps. Okay, now what to say? They got, Magic City got 4.0. And then I, let's see what Blue Flame got. But now I know Magic City Legendary. I think it's been around, like they mm -hmm. said, they've been around for a lot of generations. They got a 4.0 too. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Come on now. Hold on. So <laughs> let's see. Oh, look. They got a number. So look, that's Blue Flame. They got 84. That's how we finna break it right now. Now go to Magic City one again. Yup. Uh -oh. oh, they lost. I'm they got th they only got thirty nine votes. Uh -oh. So I ain't gonna lie, I've been going to the right place, Blue Flame, <laughs> in my opinion. But nothing, nothing to Magic City. I'm gonna definitely check Magic City out. You know what I'm saying? You better. Yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> gonna check Magic City out. So yeah, that's what's up though. So outside of that, like when you ain't working, what do you be doing? What you be into? Well, I own a online cosmetics store. Oh, damn, yeah. Hey, shout out. Called Juicy Jew Cosmetics. Yeah. So, I'll be launching my website hopefully in July. Yeah. But, um, yeah, other than that, I'm a mom, so. And then, what, what, um, I think, don't you got like a, um, <laughs> don't you got like a um gaming channel or something? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I be for, I play games so much, I be forgetting. <laughs> what you be playing? I be man, what what don't I play? From Call of Duty, but actually I don't play sports uh video games. Right, what system are you playing on? PS Five. P oh yeah, you rich. Yeah, I'm on, <laughs> I'm on Twitch, so oh yeah, catch so me on that drop, too. Just drop the Twitch. Twitch TV slash Juicy Jew. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, that's what's up. So you be making money on Twitch. Yeah. So tip tell me I haven't been that. up there in about a month though. Yeah. So I took a break. I don't use Twitch, but I need to. So tell me how like how did you get on it and then yeah, we just go for that question. How did you get on it? Well, a friend of mine had actually um I was on a con well, I wasn't on the contest, I was a part of the contest and I saw how the platform worked and they used it to pretty much put someone on their label. It was kind of cool. Yeah. So I saw that they also could play video games on there. And so many people just kept telling me about it. So I was like, man, I need to try this. Started off playing Jedi Survivor. What's that? <laughs> man, it's a video game. Yeah. It, it, it took me, but I thought it was going to take me two days. It took me like two weeks to beat that game. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I play that and GTA up there. Yes, Australia. I just think they just the new GTA about to come out and uh, oh my god, it come out next year. Yeah, so that's something you're looking forward to playing. Am I? You gonna play did it on Twitch? The, yeah, did you see the preview? Yeah, I've been waiting on this stuff for so long. I, you know, I they stopped. It was leaked, but, but no, nah, by the time like the last game that I was like game crazy for, man, it was probably like San Andreas. Like I think I had a system that at that so time. Long time. Ago. That's what I'm saying. So that's what after that, when it, once, by the time GTA Five came out or whatever the case was, I was already like moved on. You know what I'm saying? Like I started having kids. So yeah, you say you're a mom. So um, yeah, to all the young mothers out there, got some some positive. You know what I'm saying? That you know it might be younger viewers or younger people or people without kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or people with kids, but just give them a positive message. You know what I'm saying? Well, I would say just to literally keep your head up like you got this you're not doing it wrong your kids love you you're probably definitely doing it right yeah. you know so i think you're um you know our biggest enemy sometimes is ourselves so 
Just don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah. And just do it with grace. Yeah, no, that's real. Yeah. That's, that's real, man. That's, that's real talk. Um, I definitely appreciate you for coming through. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Definitely locked in. That was real. You know what I'm saying? That, we gonna go up with this one. I definitely think this one's gonna touch some people. You feel me? Like I think we just went crazy, low key. So uh, tell the folks what your um social media and stuff is. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Juicy Jew, and I've already shouted out all my you know websites and things yeah. like that. And there's a couple more.